thing, though, that I know for sure is that we've been smelling some good food in the studio, and I think yeah. Steve's over there trying his hand at some cooking. Yeah, he's already been here. indeed. Uh, in the meantime, take a look, uh, Gretch and Clayton, a live look at Bourbon Street in the French Quarter, where it has just been clean from last night, and partygoers are about to return. But it's not just about partying in beads. New Orleans also known for its food. Here to help us with some traditional Mardi Gras dishes is Tenny Flynn. He's the co-owner and executive chef and apparently bartender at GW Finn's in New Orleans. What is Mardi Gras Day? You know, you gotta, gotta have a drink. Yeah. Well, you do. Plus, I needed to cook with, so that gives you an excuse to How are you to today? Help. I'm great. When you see, no, you actually, we just showed the pictures of the uh, French Quarter. You live in the French Quarter, I live Quarter, in the right? Quarter. I live one block off Bourbon Street. And so this is the craziest day of the year, right? It's a great day in the Quarter. It's a lot of fun. All right. And there's a uh, trash truck and all the garbage cans are out there. All right. At GW Finn's, you are uh, about the, <laughs> you're making a hurricane. Well, one of the good hurricanes, not the bad hurricanes. There's nothing but booze in that. Oh, there's there's some other mess. Okay, and here's your... Uh... Okay. Apparently, he's Excuse getting me. me ready to watch him prepare the there barbecued you shrimp. All right. Now you're good. I got my uh, magnum there. All you right. You can hold the wine in your hand and have the hurricane in, in your in your go-kart. All right. Uh, thank you, sir. Let me, let me borrow a little bit of that. All right. Now, you're making barbecue shrimp, right? Barbecue now, right? shrimp, a traditional New Orleans dish. And this is uh, this is just one of the the Gulf seafoods that we that we brought with us. We have shrimp and crab and crawfish and oysters and tuna and escalar and redfish. Now you ju and we should point out that the recipes are going to be on foxandfriends.com and they'll link to your website. You mentioned Gulf shrimp. A lot of people remember the big spill and they think oh, I don't know if that's safe to eat. You're here to say it is. It's uh, there's unprecedented testing going on. Um, and, and basically, there, there have been, there's been nothing found in adult fish mm -hmm. anywhere along the line. Now, what are those, those chunks of stuff you just put in are what? That's a, a compound butter. It, it standardizes the seasoning. We're going to make a creamy sauce. We've got another Louisiana product here, Louisiana jasmine rice. We're going to serve it over that. We should point out you use uh, shrimp magic made by our friend Paul, Paul Prudhomme, Prudhomme, the legend of the French Quarter. He's been in business for many, many years. 30 years. He was really uh, he was really the first recognizable American chef, I think. But at, at Finn's, we've been open 10 years, and you know, you talk about the quarter. Uh, a lot of places, a 10-year-old restaurant would be, you know, old, tired, and uh, sure. we're, we're just hitting our stride because we're around the corner from Galatoire's and across the street from Arnold's. So we're forever going to be the new guy on I the block. I love that neighborhood. Now you, you're using the fresh stuff from the uh, from the Gulf. Can, mm -hmm. If people are living in an area that doesn't have fresh shrimp, can you use frozen? Sure, frozen uh, frozen shrimp. Just uh, and really, you know, if you're if you're concerned about, you know. Uh, Contamination in your shrimp, mm -hmm. definitely buy a domestic product because the, the imported stuff is, is pretty well proven to be. And see, it was pretty much a plain shrimp until you put on the shrimp butter. The shrimp butter is what? Butter and? Uh, shallots and garlic and spices. And uh, we're going to get a. a I wish we had smell of vision. It's fantastic in here. But good. you cook the shrimp with their heads on. I, I'm not a big fan. Well, of that. that's. Uh, there, there's good stuff in that head. That's like a crawfish head. I have a problem eating crawfish head. No. Those are crawdaddies, right? They are. All right. So you start with a little bat of rice, and then you put the shrimp on. Now you pulled the tails off, right? Well, it makes them easier to eat. You can, right. you can pick them up by the head. All right. I my, normally don't eat anything in the morning on my, a Tuesday my, with a my, head on it. My bowl, my bowl is too small. Oh, that's a, beautiful. A little bit of there. All right. Is it okay for me to eat one of those? Sure, and it's finger food too. It is indeed, and it's Fat Tuesday, and tomorrow is uh, is Ash Wednesday. So the beginning of Lent, so we've got to have fun today. Oh, that is fantastic! Right, all those spices. Holy cow! If you like the recipe, go to foxandfriends.com. I should point out that uh, Jenny's going to be at the James Beard House tonight, and tonight, you're going to be at Macy's in New York Macy's tomorrow, right? Macy's to go to Mr. Bar, yes. All right. Here, let me use the tablecloth. Hey, I got I to tell All right. There you go. <laughs> Nicely done. Thank you. Tenny Flynn from GW Finns down in the French Quarter on this Fat Tuesday.